church service. But if you get touched, if you feel anything, then that's great too. Okay, this is all about singing Elvis' favorite music. Now, what you think about this? In 56, Elvis was being called the devil, straight from Satan and the worst influence on young people in the history of man. And then he comes out with a gospel album and wins a Grammy. In other words, shut up. Right? And it was all Pentecostal gospel. It wasn't even like you said in Catholic gospel. It was Pentecostal gospel. Isn't that beautiful? And the Cortez, gospel Cortez we are talking about, the inspirations of all these guys that Elvis was influenced by. A friend of mine, Tony Brown, played with uh, Elvis in, in the late 70s, and he was the head of that group, Word, you know, I traveled out, and told me that Elvis was planning in 1978 to do a tour of just him and the Sweet Inspirations and the Stamps. Can you imagine doing all gospel? How great that would have been. And he told me about getting a phone call at 3 o'clock in the morning from Joe saying, hey, can you be at the National Airport at 4.30? They picked him up, take him back to play gospel with Elvis and the guys. And then all of a sudden, everybody left. There's just him and Elvis sitting in the living room playing. Can you imagine that concert? Just him and Elvis? And uh, <clears throat> we'll talk about D real quick. You know, he's a great looking guy. <laughs> if you've ever seen him with his shirt off, what in the Florida thing? Uh, great singer. But what's weird, and he speaks English, the, you know, Portuguese dude. And, but what's weird, if you're ever in a romantic situation, I don't want to say anything, we're in Florida, thing, weird things happen, and he whispers in your ear, he talks like this for some reason, just to let you know it's not 